fallen angels, and we're dealing with the angels that have fallen. So, this is part three of fallen angels. I got some scriptures I want to share with you, and I want to deal with fallen angels uh, at this hour. Part three of fallen angels. Now, I want to share with you that the angels was made by God. God made the angels. God put the angels in the court where they're supposed to be. Angel is a being that God made in order to be a helpmate for man. When I read uh, Matthew, uh, Matthew 4 and 10, it said, and the angels of God, the angels of God came and ministered to Jesus. The angels of God administered to the Son of God. Okay? And when the Son of God would administer to, and all the evil, the dark energy, fled. Now, I want you to go to your Bibles. And I want you to look up Exodus. I got it here somewhere in the Bible. But I want to deal with some angels. The angels of the month. I, I, uh, I want to deal with the angels of the month. And I want to deal with that because we're talking about part three of fallen angels. And as I read the fallen angels, I'm finding in the King James Version, also in the Holy Quran and other Bibles, there's not too much on angels. But the book of Enoch talk about angels, talk about the and the book of Egypt talk about angels and the angel role. I want to bring this to you family, where the family might know that the angels came to you first. And the angels that came, and we have different pictures in our mind of angels, which had been uh, wrote in books and Bibles, how angels look with wings and all of that. But the African, over in Egypt, they said men that was flying, they was angels. They was flying without anything. And it go to tell us about Flying saucer, it gives a, a m, it gives a, a it opens a door to you and I, where we might understand the significance of angels, and how angels played a part in the history of your life and my life, and the history of our ancestors. We must understand that. Now I want to give you this matter of Archangel Saint Michael, the Archangel. When I give you Archangel to St. Michael, I give you revelation knowledge to St. Michael. And St. Michael being one of the garden angels, one of the most powerful angels that's in our system. What I mean in our system, this angel, Archangel Michael, was the angel that God summons. Now, I'm going to tell you back to a period of time, find your Bible. Where the angels of God carried out God's plan. Whatever God wanted done, the angels of God carried the plan out. And when you go to Revelation, and I want you to go there, and I'm going to give you some scriptures about angels. And when you get the scripture about angels, you know how to deal with angels. So angels was here a long time ago, an angel was here before a Christianity. It was here before any religion. The angels moved across the earth. When it was utterly dark, and angels came. So I'm letting you know that angels played a part in creation and played a part because God... Uh, uh, when you go to Genesis 28 and 12, and you go to 
Hebrew. Uh, Eleven and one. Now faith is the subject name by faith and the word. See, it's good to have faith, but the word that back up the faith that you see. If you see it, you believe and you touch it, you know it. So it's important to have that. Because I'm going to tell you back in the time where you have to deal with angels. What was their role? What did they pose to do? How do we conceive angels? How did angels move across the universe? First, God made everything. God rock, the God of the universe, made everything. But before Egypt, God, <coughs> I want to share this with you, God is the supreme creator of everything, God. Wind, water, fire, God is the creator. So if God is the creator, God created the angels, God created man. Okay? So if God is the creator, you have to understand why the creator destroyed the earth, which he made. Made the earth. So God made the earth, he created the earth, he made the angels. So, but when the angels came down, and the angels, now what happened? Let's go back to a period when it wasn't a whim and wasn't a way. It's utter darkness. And out of the darkness come the marvelous light. And we stand as bad witness that we are the marvelous light. East, west, north, and south. We are the man that God created. Him, he, he, us. So we are the God of the universe. We are the watchmen of the universe. We are the creators of the universe. We are the power of this world. Everything else is magic, and we are the energy of the world. Say that with me. I am the energy of the world. I am the energy of the world. So when you understand that, you got to understand the Godness, the God in you, Ra, that made you, and you understand about angels. The angels was help mate that God made to do work. Now, let's deal today, and you can't find this in the Bible, so don't even look. You can't find it in, in the Quran. Just go past the Quran. Just go past the Bible. Just go back to Revelation knowledge. The Europeans ain't got it. The Arabs ain't got it. The black man, oh, y'all ain't going to help me, have this knowledge that was put in our DNA with our melon. Let me say it again. This was put in our DNA, in our melon. Family, you got to understand, you are the unique family of God. Being the family of God, you've been prosecuted, you've been cursed, you've been put down, but after all of that, you come up. Out of the marvelous to the marvelous light. I draw that this is your world. And you have the power to rule it. Now, now some of you don't understand because it's a little heavy for you. Because I'm dealing with the spirit of man and the spirit of creativity. The spirit of ancient Egypt and the spirit of Africa. That Egypt and Africa was one. The Nile run right down. That silver, gold, everything was right there. I'm talking about before the pharaohs came in existence. And I'm talking about the universe of God Rock, who made his point to touch you and me. Now, what happened, Bishop? We're talking about fallen angels, sons of God, that went rogue. Let me say it again. That, that, got out, that went rogue. What I mean went rogue. They had their own agenda, and you weren't in it. When you read in the Bible, you will find... Where the angels came, 
Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Angel, throw Lucifer, the angel of light, put him out of heaven because of the upset. And, and he killed a third of the angels with him. They landed on the earth. Let me help you now. They landed in Egypt, Africa, Europe. They landed all over the world. Angels. Fallen angels. Now, God didn't totally put them out. They had a chance to make up. They had a chance to get themselves together. Now, this is Fallen Angels Part 3. They had a chance to get themselves together. But, because they didn't want to, they come down earth and seen these pretty black women and made it with them and started a whole tribe <coughs> of angels that was fallen angels and created demons and spirits. Oh, y'all ain't helping me now. Let me help you out where you might understand clearly what I'm saying. Michael, Gable, and Raphael, by the power of God, put Lucifer and his angels out. And a third went with Lucifer. They went to the earth realm. And in the earth realm, they couldn't go to the heavenly realm. The atmosphere, they couldn't get out of the earth atmosphere. So when the angels were fell, they was angry at God. And they tried to be God. But they was still the sons of God. When God called the sons of God together, only one that was true. Satan said, I've been going through and forth, up and down, see what I can divide. Let's bring that to a where you can understand. I'm going to see how I can make a man. I'm going to see how I can create my animals. I'm going to see how I can build my temples. Now, the pyramid was built by the angels. The pyramid was built by angels. The descendants of angels learned magic, war. The angels had, had had sex with humans from the spirit realm to the physical realm, and they had sex with animals. So in that particular realm, they were growing bigger and living longer. As yes, I'm helping you. Now when earth people seen the angels, they thought they were gods. And they were gods, but they were fallen angels. They have been moved out of the earth realm me out of the heaven realm in the earth realm. When I was in the spirit world, I told you earlier, uh, that the angels said that they could not come back in the in the heavenly realm. They was bound to the earth realm. That means they could fly all over the earth. They could fly to Africa. They could fly to China. So they, they inhabit there. They build a pyramid in Egypt, one in Africa, one in China, one in Russia, one, they all over the continent, those fallen angels build pyramids. And they taught different tribes, different stuff. They taught witchcraft, magic, war, evil. They taught all of that. That's what that fought, and they were lovers of humans. Now, when you look at that, he said, well, why did God destroy the earth? God made the earth. Made everything in it. Why did he destroy it? Because the third of the angels had already begun to inhabit the human and had sex 
with the women and men and had sex with the animal. Now, God wasn't pleased with none of that. They taught people everything, but before the angels, now, let me help you out. Let me help you out, son. The angels came and inhabited the world and large animals. So, God destroyed the angel, the angel, but they went underground. They built cabins all under the ground. And it was a great freeze over. Now, coming back now to Egypt, and come on back. The angels came and they helped. So, in the Bible, God told Noah, Noah, get your family, and I want you to leave. I want you to build an ark. And I want you to bring it to every animal that had not been infected by the angels. Yeah. The angel infected everything they come in contact with. Now, I uh, uh, the angels was the son of God. They was fallen angels. They was, they, and people called them God. But they was the fallen angels. The angels that were put out because they were reckless. Because they were disobedient. Because they wanted what God had. And they wanted to create man. They wanted to create earth. Now, let me help you. This what happened. God said, Noah, get your wife, which is pure blood. Get your son and their wife, which is pure blood. They can go on the ark. Get the animal that is pure blood. Put them on the ark. Because the angels have, in, have, have infected the whole world. So I'm going to destroy this world. And I'm going to, when, when he called the angels, let me back up. God called the angels, called the sons of God for him. That was the angels he called. He was the only one what y'all been doing. Up and down, seeing what we can do, seeing what we can devour. That's what they have been doing. And the dark angel said, I'm seeing who I can devour. For all the angels, he was speaking for the the third of the angels. That's what they were doing. They were trying to create a heaven on earth. Ain't gonna happen. Because they were bound to earth. And after they got here, they began to do evil things. Create evil kind of things. So that happened. Now, when you look at the Bible, and I got the Bible here, this is where I, I got the Bible, and I, I'm reading from the King James Version, where the angels came before God. When they came before God, God asked, where have you been going to and forth? Have you considered my servant Job on the planet of the earth doing the right thing? Well, when you said the devil, the dark energy, which represents the dark energy, who represents the, the third of the fallen angels. That was the third of the angels. And they said, we will make Job. See, when, when Satan was talking, he wasn't talking for himself. He was talking for his angels. Job represents the human race. And if they could destroy Job, they could destroy us. Job was the new father for us. He said, have you considered my servant Job? The angel said, take the head, we will make him cuss you before your face. God said, don't touch his soul. You can have his body, but don't touch his soul. God knows that 
Job was a pure man. He wasn't being, he wasn't tainted. So the angels went to work on him. That's the whole Job story. You know, it, you'll find out about that. Then we go on to the part where the angels of God had sex with the women that was in the world. They had sex with the Chinese women, the black women. They had sex with all females. And out of that lineage come children that were giants, that were warlocks, that were women that were witchcraft, that were witches. All that came out of the angel, the fallen angel. And the pyramid was built by a tribe of giants. Goliath was a giant. His brother was a giant. So in the Bible, you see where giants build a pyramid. The giants built pyramids in, in Egypt. The Native Americans said, those over there is giants. And when they went up to take the land, they said, we are hypocrites to the giants. So giants. What the angels had intermingled with the people, and the women were having giant children, children that were giants. And those giants had took over some part of the earth. So God summons Noah to build an ark. Because they were fighting, killing, homosexual, all that. So when Noah, bam, clean their foot. All those angels, and, and not only just the angels, all that the angel infected with their spirit. What I, when I say infected, what you mean? Though they had programmed their mind, they had messed with their body sexually, they had messed with the, the, the growth of them, and their walk with God. So they had put evil on the planet. They had brought evil in the garden brought evil and fighting. So God told uh, Abraham uh, and told Noah and them, y'all go, if you go in the Bible, go destroy everything in this city, don't take nothing. Because it was it was it was just like a bolo, it had a spirit. It was cursed. Because the angels had did that which was unholy. So for for three months, that flood, everything on the earth was, was wiped out but what was in the ark. And some of the angels went underground, deep underground. And they vowed to come up and be with God. So they came up. They went back doing the same thing they was doing. I mean, he was doing it, but it was a tribe in Africa, was a tribe in Egypt, was a tribe in Europe, a fallen angel. God once again, and Solomon Gomorrah, the angel, was having women and children and cattle, and starting war all over the world. God told Abraham, we're going to destroy Solomon. They came to set and ate with Abraham. To let him know that God's spirit is going to destroy him. Because of their disobedience, God did destroy Saul. And the angel and the people were destroyed because of their disobedience. Because the angels were laying with and the angels are metallic beings. So the angels have been, and those that stop serving God begin demons, begin to do demon work, begin to do evil, and want to take over a body and possess a body. So they want to possess a body because they wanted to do what God was doing. They wanted to open up a door between heaven and hell, and they couldn't do that. Because hell is deep and dark. So they couldn't do that. So they all was killed by God. 
But then evil spirits and sorcerers and all kind of stuff was happening. Wars and rumors of war. Up to the day where we at today, we dealing with witchcraft, magic, and we dealing in the day of Noah. And this is the day of Noah. In the day of Noah, every kind of spirit was loose. And the Bible said we're in the day of Noah. The day of Noah was getting ready to destroy the world because we wouldn't listen. And so we are in that framework right now as I speak. We're in the day of Noah where men fight men, women fight homosexuality. We're in the day of Noah. And we're in a critical situation. We said the next time we'd be destroyed by fire, not by water. Because those fallen angels can't get out of the earth realm. They can they can disappear, they can change, disturb, and that's what's been happening. They've been changing, they be, they become demons. They teach people how to do all kind of evil, and they promote killing, murder. That's because they are fallen angels, and that's what they do. So, in in and before I go into part four, I want to deal with part three. Nor, like the Bible said, like in Nor day, we're living in Nor day when they want to deal sound doctrine. They want to church. They want to listen to their pastor. They want to listen to nothing. They don't believe it's no God, but I don't think it is a God, and He should be ruled and He should rule. So what I'm telling you, in fallen angels, they was made with humans and animals. God shut them down, and some went deep in the earth and hid. After thing, they come back out and start the same thing. The people thought they were God because they were flying. And they had a long head, and they flew back and forth. So the people in Africa thought they was God. The people in Egypt thought they was God. The people in Russia thought they was God. All over the world, they said we seen angels. They were seeing fallen angels, angels, and become demons. And that means that they're doing the will of. Uh, God not doing the will of man or doing the will of uh, they're doing the will of God. And by doing the will of God, they they tear up some things, they build up some things. So it's very important to understand the angel, Michael Raphael, you read about it, is the angel that stay stay with God and help God get through all this. Because prayer changes things. And I feel that if we direct that peace we can stop a lot of stuff from going on. So it's very important to go to my website, that's DustyAbrahamNoSite.com, or go to Block Talk Radio, Bishop Turner. I'm on on Monday, 11 to 12. I'm on on Thursday, I'm on Tuesday, 11 to 12. I'm on Wednesday, from 7 to 8. Friday, I'm on, and to help you, Come with you, yeah. To help you come to the level to understand how important and the picture that the, that the fallen angels play in our life and our life. Yes, angels are with you. You got the, the heavenly angels, and you got the fallen angels. The fallen angels is striving to be demons and devils and trying to destroy your walk with God and want to put all that on you, but by being a prophet of God and also being a person that's been there and did that, God has already showed that they ain't going to work out, that they ain't going to be all right. It might seem like it's bad, but if you make it bad, you can do something. Quit fast, man. All you got to do is get ready for God to give you. God can do anything to put him up where you are. Get ready for a massive blessing this week. This mark of God to open up every door that's been closed. I'm going to get ready for that. I'm going to give you the angels, and I'm going to give you those angels in sequence for you to know what they are. When I give you those angels, you know how to deal with those angels. Those angels I'll give you in sequence of 
several different angels. How do different angels work out for you? And they will work for you. And they will work out for you. Sometimes you need to know the angels, what they do, how they open up. And that would be a blessing for you. And the door will open up for you quick, fast, and in her. I got some special for you to work on to turn things around. And I want to share it with you. Uh, go to my website at thecityofabamgillsite.com and uh, group the uh, YouTube Bishop Turner and go to my live stream. Uh, Block Talk Radio on Monday that we're talking about on Monday. Dr. King movement on Tuesday coming with the ancestry. On Wednesday, Bible class. On Thursday, uh, Mr. White from Jackson, Mississippi. And on Friday, Brother Charles, all the way from California. So these are the people that will come on the show to do some things. It's very important to be understand. Uh, I want to say the Lord to my church. And I, want, I want you to wrap it is the healing angel. And when I when I see Raphael come, sometimes angels come and sometimes they come to be a large. But most time angels fly and sometimes they ain't got no wings. The fallen angels and I want to share this with you. The fallen angels have great knowledge and wisdom of the universe. They know about that Bible, but you know about nobody in the They know about it. So they give their body up for that. You know, if Bob probably want to share it with you what you know. Okay, I just want to know what that was and how it's coming to be. If you see, I got on the altar uh, some forces of healing, some reverse on the altar, the Bible, the Egyptian, and also we deal with life after death, taking the journey to come back real quick. So it's very important to understand how important that work for you. Angels, fallen angels, is angels that caught up in their friend and they disobeyed God. By them disobeying God, God has already put them under a divine curse. So they're to, they can come back, but most of them want to do their own thing. So they have offspring that is giants, that is uh, wicked and spirit forces. So now we have to deal with negative energies as the, the heavenly angels come down and stop them in their tracks. That we do have angels that come and stop them in their tracks. When that angel come and stop them in their tracks, and I want to give you this, where you have this uh, angel, you have your pencil and paper, the angels, the 72, 72 different angels, over a million and a half angels, go back and forth. The angel of the water, or the wind, the angel of the atmosphere, uh, Jupiter, Mars, Saturn, these are different names to control different elements. And we understand Yahweh, God, Allah, and when you understand that, the angel of uh, the angel doing that. So this is what you got to understand. I'm going to give you this. Uh, the governing angel of the 12 months, that's Gabriel, that's Raphael, and Raphael, and let me give you this. J January is Gabriel. Uh, February is Babiel, and Michael is the month of March. So you need these angels in order to know these are angels of God. And the fallen angels 
was, was Micah, Raphael, and them kicked them out. And they hit the earth rim. They can't go back to the heavenly rim. They're locked out. Their wings have been clipped. So they started having sex with human beings and making giants. Oh, I'm going to help you out. The angel of April is Asmodel and Andrael, and the angel of July is Muriel. The angel of June is Muriel, and the angel of July is Basil, and August is Hamiel, and September is, is uh, Uriel, and October is Babiel, November Andrael, and December is Hamiel. Now, uh, my... Archangel Michael is the angel that fight devil, fight evil. He's summoned by God. He's an archangel. Raphael is our archangel. And I want to share this with you. Raphael is an angel of healing. Have you ever seen Raphael? He got the staff with the snake wrapped around it that you see that the doctors have. When you go to the hospital, they got that. But also, Raphael have that little green book have every curse, every spell that's been put on the human, Rev L got the cure for it in that little green book. And all the way you can get that message from him, you got to pray that God let him bring it to you where you can be liberated from the curse or the sickness that you got. Let me say it again. Rev L is the healing angel. And, one, and, one, and I want you to notice him. And I, and I tell you, when you get to go to you, you got to read your Bible. In Revelation 7, there were four angels, east, west, north, and south. That was the angel over the east. That was the angel over the west, angel over the north, angel over the south. <coughs> These angels was getting ready to destroy the earth. And God the holy. God sent another angel, which that angel he sent was Metatron, the king angel, told her, hold it, don't destroy the earth. God is not through. So God got faith in me and you. So I want you to know that today, that the angels of God steal the heavenly angels. You got fallen angels. You got demons. You got the devil. When God called the sons of God before him, guess who came? The devil came. And those fallen angels came. L let me share this with you. Angels are made from God. So they are the sons of God, but they got, like you got a son, you got the chest out. God, the angels kicked them out. A third of the angels left heaven and went with Lucifer. Pretty angels, angel of the sun. But they got caught up in the earth realm. They couldn't have they, they couldn't go back. Their wings was clipped. So they started having sex with humans and cats and dogs. So after having all of that, God had to destroy them. He said, I want you, Noah, to get everything you get bringing in the ark. Now, why did God tell Noah to build an ark? Because the the fallen angels had in had messed up. What I mean messed up. They had messed up. What they had did, they had messed up. Now that's part three of fallen angels. I'm gonna do part four to tell you and give you every scripture. Go with the fallen angel. That's part one, two, and this part three. Get ready for part four. It's exciting, it's dynamic, and get ready for it. And God bless you. Thank you for listening.